Ooh, all right. What? So, what? I, I didn't call you. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Taurus. So let's see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. A little Libra man coming to bring good energy through for you all. So, let's see. <laughs> Like, God forbid the messages be jacked up. <laughs> but let's see, Spirit of Love and Light, Truth and Clarity, what messages do you have for the sign of Taurus, Taurus placements? Please and thank you. What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. All right. Oh, wow. I have not. Start reclaiming who you truly are. I am seeing someone. There is a twin flame connection. I'm really seeing that some of y'all are being guided to take certain actions, to take certain steps here um, with reclaiming who you truly are, whether it's like a uh, starting a diet here, like working out, um, getting out in nature. It's like some of y'all have been given guidance about certain things that you're needing to change in your life here. And the reason why you've been given this guidance is because there's this twin flame energy that's coming through for you. So now here's the problem. <laughs> when we're in this energy of we want something. And just like I, I mean, the best thing, just like, you know, you may want, say you want uh, a new car, but you're not doing anything to purchase a new car or saying you want um, a six pack, but you, you're you eating sugar every day and you're not working out. You're not doing anything to get the, the six pack here. So there's this energy of like you being guided to take action here. But at the same point, you have to take action because this spiritual union that you're being guided towards, if you're not spiritually aligned with it, then how can you get it? Because we're talking about something, we're talking about from a spiritual standpoint here. So it's something healing, uh, is disciplining yourself as well in order to, to, establish or to have this within your life and it's the same thing it's like looking at it from a practical standpoint how can you expect to um shoot look like angela bassett if you're not you eating sugar every day and you're not working out you're not drinking water you're drinking juice and soda all the time it's like you know let's be realistic let's be honest about our expectations here because with Plato's the symphonism here, according to Greek myth mythologies, I'm sorry, according to Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, and a head with two faces. Fearing their power, Zeus split them into two separate beings, condemning them to spend their lives in search of their other halves. So with you reclaiming who you truly are, it's this energy of acknowledging that at some point you are one with someone else and you want to be guided back to that person. You are being guided back to that person. This is definitely um, the process of meeting your twin flame and you guys are on the verge of meeting someone here, a twin flame. 
I am getting a strong twin flame connection here. But when I originally was shuffling through this deck, this card was in the reverse. So it's letting me know that there is some blockages here. And until you reclaim your power and you stand in your truth, because in order for um, two to become one, both of them need to be complete. Like they both need to be fulfilled themselves. Because then it's like, how can, it can't be one. It'll be 0 0.7, 0 0.75. You know, it's not a one here. But both of you are needing to be fulfilled. You both have to do what you're being guided to do. So if one person is doing it, but the other person refuses, and it can be something just as simple as, you know, getting your health in order or um, getting a degree, doing something. But if you're not taking the necessary action, then you're the one who's stalling things, or it could be your person or the both of you. But there is some sort of obstacle here. I am saying that this is someone either you recently met, you guys um, met someone, then you guys are going some time without seeing this person, person again, or you haven't met this person at all. Some of you guys have known this person, but we'll see. I'm getting a fairly new connection. I have been getting a lot of new energies, which is good because it lets me know people are closing out these toxic chapters in their life. Okay. So definitely there's this energy here. Yeah. So you're in the process of being guided towards a firm foundation here, establishing a family security with someone. But the issue here is you're currently in this energy of repeating, um, patterns here karmic lessons where you are dealing with non-committal type of energies forbidden type of relationships so meaning someone was in a marriage or someone uh, wasn't able to give you the commitment that you deserve because for whatever reason they couldn't prioritize this connection for a lot of you guys it was because they were in another connection someone was just using you for sex it's like this lustful energy. So some of you guys are in the process currently of learning from some karmic lessons and the decisions that you made in the past in order for you to establish a firm foundation with someone else. Okay, so the issue here is that you're not viewing things like your judgment is clouded. So meaning you're not seeing things for what they are. You're not, you're either not seeing it or you're just not acknowledging it. What is keeping you stuck? Why things aren't moving forward in your life? Why haven't you met the love of your life? Why is, is you're not, your judgment is clouded. I'm really getting this a lack of accountability on your part, Taurus. You really, like, you're really needing to acknowledge why are you in this stuck energy? Why do you feel like things aren't moving in the direction that you desire, that you're hoping? What illusions do you have here? What is, is something unbalanced that's keeping you stuck? Some of y'all, it could be external. I'm getting like some sort of disruption here. I'm getting, some of y'all have been through several tower moments. Some of y'all weren't able to like handle like this massive upheaval. It's like 
what you needed in order to propel you forward here to get you out of this stuck energy. So you had to go through like these um, minor upheavals here because you couldn't handle like the massive upheaval. So some of y'all thought like it was, you know, extremes after one after the next. But if you were to really deal with what it's like what they needed um, to do what your spirit guides needed to do in order to get you out of a particular situation, it would have been way too much because some of y'all are looking at what you've been through. It's like, it was too much, but they're like, if only you knew. The root of this situation is finality, farewells, leave behind, closure. This is chemistry, attraction, spark, and passion. Let's see, what exactly is this chemistry talking about? Oh. see what is this chemistry talking about okay so they are talking about you needing to walk away from a particular situation. This is someone that you've been chasing after. Yeah, there's been distance and conflict. This person left you heartbroken. And this like hopeless energy, wanting them to take action towards you. They're talking about you finally disconnecting from this. So some of you guys are like your judgment regarding this particular situation has been clouded because there's someone that you're viewing that's having like a lot of attraction between the two of you, but you've been chasing after this person, but it's, it's too much conflict here. There's too many differences and compatibility I'm getting like this person is either acting distant towards you. You guys are at a distance. Some of you guys, this person moved away. But I am seeing this, this person definitely left you heartbroken. Some of you guys are just needing to give yourself the closure you deserve. So someone that you were trying to get to know on a deep level here, you wanted this person to value you, to see the importance of this connection. You wanted this person to become more aware of 
the potential of this connection between the two of you. But ultimately, it's like despite the pain and the sorrow that the, that this is going to cause you, I am seeing like you turning your back on this connection. This person could possibly, I'm either getting like you continue to not get any action from this person or they do something to make you like finally say it's over and done. So they could end up in another connection, but there is something that's it's like you grieving the loss over this. But this is only to like get you out of this stuck energy. That's what you're needing to acknowledge that this sorrow, this grief that you're going to experience because of a past connection is just to get you out of this stuck energy. Yeah, letting go of someone who's been giving you mixed signals, blocked emotions, heart fog here. I'm getting like you guys have been getting like signs, uh, signals from this person that they are interested. But at the same point, it's been a lot of mixed uh, signals. So it's like one minute they're making some sort, sort of gesture in your direction, but then there's no follow through. There's nothing else. It's just to keep you lingering on. I'm getting this energy of you guys like um, forgiving yourself. Um, I'm seeing you definitely forgiving yourself over this connection with this person. Um, and also it's like really acknowledging like the blockage um, because it's staying in this fantasy type of energy. So I'm seeing some of y'all like in this energy of imagining what could happen if this person was to return to apologize. If there was no longer distance between the two of you. For this person to like really um, acknowledge your beauty, your worth here to value and appreciate you. All the good times that the two of you can have. I'm getting like some of you guys did have like a lot of good times with this person. So it's like in the process of like forgiving yourself for holding on to this connection, but it's also this energy of just like bittersweet here. Some of you guys could have this person return to give you an apology because they are tired of this distance between the two of you, but I'm not saying it turn out to be anything. Yeah. This person is seeing you as one in a second chance, one in an opportunity. Like they're seeing you as the one that wants to take action towards them, that you're the one that's longing and craving for them. I'm getting shrimp cocktail. I, I don't know why I got to keep getting I'm getting shrimp cocktail. Someone could like shrimp cocktail or someone takes you on like a romantic date here. Um, but this person is viewing you as longing to be with them. Like you're the one who's wanting them. You're viewing them as being guided to take action towards you, to return to you. Do you feel like you are picking up intuitively here that this person is being uh, guided by the divine to take action towards you? 
Some of you guys do believe this is your divine masculine for my uh, feminine energies out there. What are this person's intentions and future actions, Taurus, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Taurus? Okay, that's just wanting to fly out. So they intend to continue to run and ghost and disappear. Do the invisible act. Oh my gosh. What is it with that? How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? This person feels like there is a deep connection between the two of you. They definitely feel this deep love between the two of you. But they feel like a connection this deep will only cause them a lot of pain. And that's why they're so apprehensive and cautious. Because they feel like to love someone this deep opens them up to feeling and experiencing a lot of pain. And they don't want to go through that. So they rather just run from this connection. Some of you guys, the blockage for you regarding a twin flame connection here is actually another connection. Okay, you gotta see it for yourself. Past life love. Your soul remembers this intense connection. You guys are definitely connecting with someone that you could have possibly shared a past life with here. Or this is someone that you just will feel uh, comfortable with. Like the two of you are going to connect and vibe with each other very well. They are letting you know that there is a connection coming through. You are going to be hesitant to trust the situations because the situation, the situations that you trusted in the past only let you down. But they're saying that this relationship is moving towards a sacred union, possibly marriage for some of you guys, but definitely a long term commitment. They are saying that you need to know, like, what are your boundaries and also to be patient. Things do not take place overnight. Like, it, when you plant a seed, it doesn't sprout overnight. It doesn't grow and blossom into the flower that you want it to be overnight. Especially like trees. Trees take time. Something as solid and strong as a tree, it takes years. It takes time. So they're saying like you want something solid, you want something strong, then you're needing to be patient. You're also needing to know what are your boundaries. Some of you guys, like what, what does boundaries mean to you? What does it mean to establish boundaries here? What are boundaries? Some of y'all are needing to ask yourself that. 
not not what are your boundaries, but what are boundaries? When someone says to establish boundaries, what are boundaries? Then from there, you ask yourself, well, what are my boundaries? Because some of y'all, your boundaries have constantly been disrespected your entire life. So it seems just normal to allow people to just do whatever. It, it starts with family because those are the people that we, as a child, we grow up around. So how were, how respectful were they towards your boundaries? How does your family teach you to establish boundaries? Did they teach you to establish boundaries in a loving way, meaning that they taught you someone shouldn't disrespect you. This is what you deserve. Someone lovingly guided you towards how to establish boundaries with within a connection, within a relationship. And that's with any relationship. Or does your family teach you to establish boundaries by disrespecting yours? And you felt the need to be defensive. You felt the need to be guarded. Because going about things the nice way, it would like it wasn't heard it wasn't respected so you felt the need to raise your voice to throw things to do whatever you could to get some people to back off and to respect your boundaries but then that also created some sort of illusion here because that's not the way it should have been Because some of y'all are needing to like really separate yourself from family in order to know what your boundaries are and to feel like to get in that place of feeling safe again. Because if you're in this energy around certain people where, where you're constantly anxious because they're constantly disrespecting your boundaries, then that's a problem. And it's also affecting your ability to manifest the right things towards you. So just be conscious of that. Because some people, they'll end up in toxic relationships. They'll be in a relationship like the first person that come their way, okay, I'll take it. But then other people, they're not willing to settle. They're willing to take the hard road here. But it turns into something wonderful, something beautiful. But it doesn't come easy. But at the same point, the people who settle, that doesn't go easy. So something that may not come easy will end up flowing very nicely for you. First, people who settle, they're not able. It's like they're constantly going through it. Despite, these are the people that present themselves as the moon. You know, it looks nice on the outside, but when they go home, it's, it's not nice. They're constantly arguing at each other's throat. Having to pretend. That mask is going to go away one of these days. If it was ever truly there. Because people can obviously see that someone is wearing a mask, a disguise, a costume. Like, what? that's not real it's obvious and some people think that they can fool people but it's like nah, no it just depends on which roads you're willing to take because some people especially if you resonate with you know you grew up in the family where people were constantly disrespecting your boundaries here respect boundaries I am getting that you are attracting someone that you can trust it is safe for you to love this person it is safe for you to trust this situation this person is going to prove it because they're going to respect your boundaries this is someone who's not going to like just pop up at your house but they're going to call and ask is it okay can I take you out can we 
they're going to ask for your permission because they respect your boundaries. Even some of you guys aren't even going to know that, like, you should have had these boundaries. But this person is going to teach you. Like, how someone should respect you, the boundaries you should have in place for yourself. Yeah, this is someone new. Someone new coming in, it is safer you trust this situation. This person is going to respect your boundaries. You'll know. Not because they're going to um, woo you by opening doors for you, tossing their coat on the ground so you can walk on. This is not someone who's trying to manipulate you. This is someone who's like, hey, um, if you have time, would you like to do this with me? If you respecting your boundaries not someone you miss one call they're calling you 50 times not someone just popping up over your house not someone it, it's just like invading your privacy and on top of that it's like not asking you about is this okay how do you feel about this those are all respecting your boundaries and the reason why it's so important to you because some of y'all have had where you grew up in that type of environment where people constantly disrespected your boundaries. You guys could have grew up with a lot of siblings and it was like you didn't have that personal space. It's, it, it was just normal for someone to just come in your room, take your stuff, um, not acknowledge that they should have asked you for something here. And you know, it's not that it was like necessarily a toxic situation, but at the same point, there were no boundaries. They weren't respected. Some of y'all were taught to have boundaries, to establish boundaries. And then some people, it was like, screw your boundaries. You're a child. I can disrespect you if I want to. And that's not okay. A child is a human being that grows into an adult. And whatever you teach that child, they're going to continue until they learn to go through like their own healing and they learn what is true and what is false. But they're going to believe, you know, the things that the people in their immediate environment teaches them until they learn otherwise. But then they have to believe and accept the truth. Some people are misguided as a child. It says the same message goes. Some people just don't know what they have until it's gone. Because I'm definitely getting this energy of someone crying over you, missing you. But it's too late. You know your worth. You know your worth. You know how to express your needs now. And someone was not giving you what you needed out of a commitment here. And you found someone else who could, who did. You guys are definitely being guided towards a spiritual union here. And it's all starting with you knowing your worth and learning how to express your needs here. I'm getting, some of y'all are going to meet, y'all are meeting someone that is going to like, yeah, because know your worth popping out again. Worth the wait. Y'all are realizing because some of y'all felt like you had to be, you had to accommodate your life for others. Some of y'all are realizing because you're knowing your work that it's no rush. You can take your time because someone who truly loves you and someone who truly value, values you is going to know that you're worth the wait. If you're not up for doing this or being this or that they're not running off to the next person because some of y'all lived in that energy where it's like you had to just chase after something otherwise this person was going to leave you for someone else and you were the one that was missing out but now y'all are shifting the way you view relationships 
the way you view your connections. You're realizing your worth and knowing that you're not the one that is missing out on anything. And someone who truly loves you and wants to be with you, they're going to take the time to get to know you, to give you what you deserve. Take the time to get to know you in order to give you what you deserve. Because if they don't know you, then how can they give you what you desire? flowers i am <laughs> someone who's definitely going to appreciate your uniqueness here but i am saying someone that's going to be very generous affectionate towards you someone who's going to like gift you especially if you're a feminine energy here this is someone who's going to buy you flowers but this is someone who definitely you don't have to pretend or hide who you truly are with this person they are someone who's going to match your energy um, they vibe at a higher frequency, frequency, just like you do. Um, but this is someone who's definitely going to be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. So this is the message of this card. Success, hope, freedom, healing, and a magic healing and magic are all available to you. If you just believe, I mean, I'm definitely seeing a twin flame connection coming in for someone here. The energy of it though is again, some people are willing to put in the work and some people are not. They just want to settle. And not that it's like, I mean, as long as it's not toxic, that's up to you. But I'm saying there's a Taurus here that is willing to put in the work in order to have the love that you deserve. And it's definitely coming in for you. But I am saying like discipline and consistency within your energy prior to this connection. I am saying that you guys will ultimately lose your enthusiasm um, regarding a past connection. Hope It's like being hopeful that someone will reach out to you. I am saying like you guys are no longer enthusiastic regarding someone reaching out to you or taking action towards you. And you definitely don't feel like taking action towards this person. I am saying the moment you release this person, you realize some of y'all are going through like a major weight, a weight loss here as well. There's this glow up, but I am saying like the moment you realize that this person is not giving you the attention that you deserve and you disconnect from this energy, this person is going to realize what they missed out on. They are going to try to like guide you back towards them or to figure out a way to come towards you. They are in this like sad energy of wondering what you're up to, um, who's, who's loving you basically. 
because they know that whoever was able to snag you or to be in a connection with you, they are, this person truly has the prize because they know that you were the prize, even though they didn't act like it. And now they deeply regret it. <laughs> Establishing boundaries. Queen of Swords here. Speaking your truth. Being clear and decisive here. Standing your ground. You guys are also in this guarded energy because you're protecting your heart until you can see that someone is willing to offer you exactly what you deserve. I am seeing this slow moving energy coming towards you with this Knight of Pentacles, but this is someone who's offering you something solid, something that you can depend on. This is a long term commitment, but it is going to take time. But whatever this offer is that's coming towards you is going to make you very happy. You can trust this person. You can believe in this person. You can trust that they are telling you the truth, that they are an honest individual, that this connection is bringing you in a lot of happiness. There's a lot of happy times ahead of you and this person. Realizing that those difficult um, periods in your life, those betrayals, um, those ghosting moments, those abandoning someone walking out on you, Lack of closure, all of those energies are over with. You went through it, you learned the lesson, and it's time for you to stop lingering on those uh, connection, be, those connections because this is the energy of even though you've been through it, it's not affecting you anymore. You guys have overcame the difficulties that you faced in the past. In order to have a clear new beginning here, this is someone that you will have great conversations with this person. You will feel, you feel able um, to express yourself to this person openly and honestly. Because the best part of this connection between you and this person is the communication, which, which is the foundation for a strong connection, a strong relationship that's going to last. But they are guiding you to take your time, not to rush through this. Do you see the difference? Someone didn't offer you anything and someone is offering you everything. Clarity, truth, honesty. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.